Hi guys, this is Korup from Edureka. Welcome to today's session on Google Cloud Text to Speech. Uh, so before we get to the topic at hand, let's just discuss today's agenda. The first thing we talk about is what is Google Cloud Text to Speech, followed by the pricing, the key features that Google Cloud Text to Speech has to offer, the benefits that it provides, a demo on Google Cloud Text to Speech, and finally we end it with the future scope of Google Cloud Text to Speech and the certain use cases that are there right now. Also, if you do like our videos, please do subscribe to the Edureka channel. And if you're looking for a Google Cloud Platform certification, please do check the link in the comments below. Right. So what exactly is Google Cloud Text to Speech? Right. So Google Cloud Text to Speech is one of the services that Google Cloud Platform offers. It's nothing but a service that enables developers to synthesize natural sounding speech from a certain text. So it offers over 30 plus voices that you can choose from. And basically it's a screen reading service API. So APIs are something that you can call to invoke a certain function or a service, right? So it's a screen reading service that Google Cloud provides its users with, right? So it's something that Google provides worldwide. And also the fact that Google Cloud Text-to-Speech turns text into sound files of high fidelity. So high fidelity is something that comes into play when you want to make the voice sound human-like. So if it is high fidelity, it means that it sounds very much like humans. So next we come to the fact that Google Cloud Text-to-Speech has been developed by Google and DeepMind. Now Google has helped with neural networks. Whereas DeepMind is a company which focuses mainly on artificial intelligence. Now these two have collaborated before in making the Google Maps API or the Google Assistant API that are there. Now both of them have combined with the neural networks and artificial intelligence services that there are and APIs that there are. Both of them have combined to create Google Cloud text to speech, right? So next we come to this pricing for Google Cloud text to speech. Now the first thing, question that comes into mind is, is it free? Now Google Cloud text to speech is free for a certain amount of time, just like other AWS and cloud services and GCP services that are there, right? So for a certain point of time, the standard Google Cloud text to speech pricing is free for zero to four million characters that you type. But after the four million characters have been crossed, this price limit exceeds to 0 $0.00004 per character, right? So that's a very small amount. Or if you do not use the standard version for pricing or speech, you have the WaveNet speech, which allows you to have 0 to 1 million characters to be spoken. And if you exceed that limit, you will basically have to 0 $0.00016 US dollars per character, right? So this is the basic pricing valuation that Google Cloud provides its users with. Also, when it comes to pricing, you have to remember that SSML and spaces are definitely counted when it comes to pricing your APIs and services that you use. Now, SSML is like HTML and any other language that you use to basically convert and synthesize the text you have into a certain synthesized voice, right? So apart from the fact that SSML is counted during pricing, the price is based on the number of characters you have sent, right? So if it ex exceeds the free limit that you have, you will be charged based on what the charges are, right? Next up, we have the key features of Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. Now when we talk about Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, first thing we talk about is creating audio files. Now, audio files can be created using Google Cloud text to speech. So this is where you have a choice of over 30 voices. So and this is why this is a very in use tool when it comes to Google Cloud platform, right? Next up, we can see that pitch tuning is another feature that Google Cloud text to speech provides its users with. Now, pitch tuning is basically the ability for the user to personalize their pitch up to 20 semitones, right? So that is one of the features that is there. Next up, we talk about the integrated REST APIs that are there. So Google Cloud Text-to-Speech allows you to use integrated APIs with Python, Java, etc. so that you can make those function calls, deploy a program, and then using that program, use the Google Cloud features and services and get a text-to-speech, right? So you can integrate APIs easily with any application and the REST APIs or the gRPC requests, right? So that can be done anywhere using PCs, tablets, 
let's say IoT devices, et, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, the last feature is the fact that Google Cloud Text-to-Speech is text and SML supported. So SML basically allows you to customize the way you want the speech to be set. Like for example, if you want to add pauses or numbers or let's say date and time, you can do all of that using Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. And SSML is something that is used to do that, right? Next, we come to the benefits of Google Cloud Text-to-Speech. Now, the first benefit is high fidelity speech. Now, high fidelity speech, like we talked about, is the fact that how human-like can your voice get? And with Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, you can really get very human-like voices using DeepMind's WaveNet uh, voices that are there. So that is something which is extremely efficient when it comes to high fidelity voices. Next, we talk about improving user interactions and customer interactions. Now, Google Cloud Text-to-Speech will automatically improve customer interactions if it can basically get that engagement. Now, when you change, let's say, for example, you have a certain chatbot in a website. Now, the fact that the chatbot has, is typing whatever message it is delivering to you can get a bit tedious. So if you change the chatbot to, let's say, a Google Cloud text-to-speech enabled assistant that you might have, that assistant might be able to basically interact with you using Google Cloud text-to-speech and it's much easier and faster for you to communicate, right? So that is why the main thing that Google Cloud text-to-speech does is it increases engagement for users based on the UI. So the more the engagement of the users, the more is the customer interaction improvement. So that is why these two are based on one another. So engagement will directly coincide with customer interactions, right? So next we come to the demo for Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, right? So when you go to Google and type Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, this is something that you will see. And here you will see that it has high fidelity speech. So what you can do, we can just check out some basic things here. Let's say, for example, this is the text that you want to speak, right? And this is the language. So you can choose the language that you want the person to speak in. And I want him to speak in English. So I'll keep it as English, United States. And that is the speed at which he'll speak it and the pitch at which he'll speak, right? So you can change this. And you can also see the JSON format of the file, let's say, of the audio file is here. Now, if this is done using an API, which we will talk about in some time. So let's say this is the voice that is being used, the USD type of voice using WaveNets. You can use standard as well. And after that, when you go to speak it, so this is basically showing you that this text that you have it's being synthesized from text into speech. Now what we can do here is we can now go to the console and see how we can use APIs. So now that we basically want to use the Google Cloud Text-to-Speech API with Python, first thing we have to do is go to Google Cloud Text-to-Speech and try this API and enable it firstly. So this is enabled. Now we have to try this, right? So what we do here is let's say let's go back to the console right yeah so we go back to the console and basically go back to the project we created now this is the project that i created what i can do here is go back from apis to credentials right so here I, what i have to do is i have to launch an instance a virtual instance so I can go to IAM and admin and go to service accounts. Now when I go to service account, I can go create a service account. And these are the information that I have to fill in for service accounts, right? So the name is all you need to do here when you create service accounts. So once you basically made a service account, you can just see that the service account is being made here. What you can do is go here and manage keys right so when you go to manage keys what you can do is add another key and when you go to add another key you can go to select key and then go to json and download this now i'll not be doing this because i've already done it and it's active so once all of this is done what we need to do is go to let's say a python environment and 
first thing we need to do is create a python environment using cmd right so basically once you've created a python environment you'll have files which are the scripts the libraries that are there the packages that are there the python environment has been created so i'll show you how the entire process of using the api for text to speech is happening here so here we are basically importing the services that are there using text to speech and now what we need to do is cloud import text to speech so this is something that we are importing and this will be used for changing text into speech now the second thing here we do is create a virtual environment and I name the virtual environment Google application credentials. So what you do after this is the key that you created the JSON file that you created. So that file has to basically be in here. So let's go back here and you can see this is the name of my JSON file. And if you go back here, you can see this file for the JSON is same. And here I'm creating a client environment for Python in the CMD, right? And this is the text that I want to speak. So since we are using SSML here, we want to use SSML syntax. Now let's just go back here and let's just see SSML rendering of plain text. So if you want to say something like one, two, three, street lane. You have to basically type in the syntax like this using SSML. So you just add a speak tag here, right? So similarly, what we've done here is added the speak tag and then added what we want to say. So this is basically synthesis input, which is another variable that I've defined to basically use this method, right? So synthesis input method will basically use this as SSML and read out the text that I've done and this is basically another variable where I've basically selected the parameters of the kind of voice I want in my virtual assistant. So language code wants you to basically select the kind of language you want your virtual assistant to speak and SSML gender will basically help you to uh, select the finer things let's say when you want to add pauses when you want to let's say change it to male from male to female all of that and this is another voice that we have so we can choose to do this or not do this as well so let's just keep it for now and what i've done here is since maybe some of these voices are not there in the list of voices that are available in google cloud text to speech so we've done this we've printed the client and the list of voices that are available and using that list of voices we are configuring our audio clip right so there's another variable that I've defined where basically we talk about as response one. So this is basically the client response to the synthesized text where the synthesis input variable in, is basically put into the input variable and voice variable is another one which takes into account the first voice variable I've defined here in English and in female, right? So, and then the audio configuration is then seen here. So I've changed it to audio configuration and encoding. So encoding is something that is again used to change the text into speech, right? So finally, what I've done is when I basically run this Python file, there'll be a file called as audio.mp3 that'll be created. And when I open that audio.mp3 file, the response that I'll get is based on this female voice speaking in English. So what I want her to say is what hi what you hear now is a text to speech demo, right? So let's try it out. Make sure that you save everything that you have. And so now just go and run this file and you can see once you run this file, there should be an audio file that's there and right. So let's go click on this audio file and hi. This is a text to speech demo. As you can see here, she is saying exactly the words that I have typed in here. Now, what you can do is you can play around with this. You can change a bit. Let's say you don't want it to be in SSML and you want it to be just plain text that is being read out. So, all you need to do is just change this and change this. Let's say hi, right? And 
here since you're doing it as plain text what you need to do here is change this to text right so when i do text now change to text and let's say i want a male voice right so change this back to male and save it so now that you've saved it go back here and let's say run the file again right you've run the file and an audio file has been generated now let's play this audio file and see if it's working hi what's up so as you can see the voice has changed to a male voice and it's again saying what I wanted to say. So since I've changed this, you can see it's saying hi what's up and not what was written here before. So that is how you basically use Google Cloud Text to Speech APIs using Python. So that is basically the end of the demo. Right. So finally, let's talk about the future scope and the various use cases that Google Cloud Text to Speech has. So Google Cloud Platform is a platform which provides its users various cloud computing services. There are various emerging use cases, right, for the text-to-speech API, where the developers have used this service to improve interactions between customers and voice-enabled platforms like IVR systems. So text-to-speech is also being considered with AI to basically create playlists of memos or transcripts to prioritize data based on relevance of what has been spoken in let's say meetings and other such things that go on in industries so google cloud text to speech is really emerging as one of the most used features when it comes to cloud computing and google cloud and it is something which makes has made life way easier so with that i end today's session thank you and have a nice day I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!